Sorry about that. I had to entangle the co- cord there. Um, but you know, I want to I want to talk about something here. You know, you know, now that Countdown to Chaos um, is officially over, and we're now heading into obviously what seems to be an unleashed, a Sonic Unleashed adaption of some kind. You know, the one question that I'm sure a lot of people um, ask them s- uh, asking is, you know, what kind of comic are we going to get now? Now, I know I asked, now I know I asked the question in a previous audio video of whether or not we're going to get a proper Sonic Unleashed adaption, and hopefully we will. And in a previous, and in a video after that, I answered a, a fan's question of whether or not this is temporary or not. And uh, that's up to the writers. That's up to the creative staff. But I, I, I will say this. I will say this. There's definitely going to be a lot of changes. There's gonna definitely going to be a lot of changes um in the comic there's there's definitely going to be a lot of changes with this new universe now whether or not we do get the original characters back uh some of the original characters that we love back uh, again it's up to it's up to the writers you know how they're going to bring them back um you know for for all we know we might get julie sue back for example we might get julie sue back but it may not be exactly Julie Sue. You know, maybe a character that is her, but it's a different name, and somewhat of a different design, but you know it's her just by the way she acts and her mannerisms and all that. So you would say, oh, that's Julie Sue, but she has a different name and a different look, but you know it's Julie Sue. Stuff like that. So we, you know, so that may be some of the stuff we get. But again, it's totally up to the writers. It's up to what they decide in the future, what they feel is a proper decision to make. Now, of course, the question is going to be, are we going to get other adaptions? Are we going to get other sequels, if you will, other adapted, other sequel ad- other sequels, if you will, to video games? Are we going to get sequels to maybe Sonic Generations? Are we going to get sequels to, um, to to Sonic Colors, maybe Sonic Rush, or Sonic Rush Adventure, I should say? Um, are we going to see any of this? And you know that 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 is a good question. Will we see any of this? And again, it's it's totally up to what the writers want. Totally up to what the writers decide to do. Because right now, according to a lot of fans, the new the new and we're not talking new, we're talking new N U, not N E W, but N U. Uh the new 52, as some fans have dubbed it. Basically, the writers are going to want to try to do something that's going to coincide with the now new continuity, this new universe. Now, again, whether the universe is temporary or not, it's totally up to what they decide to do. You know, it's going to be totally up to what the fan reaction is going to be. But I do know that if this... But I do know that we are going to see some things. We're going to see adaptions. We may see sequels to already established Sonic video games. And we may get more original content than we've ever imagined. So basically, this is what I think we're going to be expecting or not, in my opinion, what this is basically what we can expect or may be expecting or may be seen. But basically, in my opinion, this is what I expect 
we're going to see and probably get with this new and you and you uh, 52 universe or continuity of the Sonic comics. And again, the new 52, the NU 52, is not to be confused with the new 52 of DC. It's just a play on words because basically that's exactly what this uh, soft retcon reboot reminds a lot of fans of. It reminds them of DC's new 52 line. But anyway, but anyway, uh, here's what I think we should expect to see. We should expect and probably will be getting, but expect to see, in my opinion. I do expect that currently right now we will probably get a sequel, if not some kind of soft adaption of Sonic Unleashed. I mentioned, you know, I mentioned in my previous audio video of whether, of whether or not we would get a proper Sonic Unleashed adaption. And I also mentioned there how cool it would be to probably have all the Freedom Fighter characters, you know, along with Sonic at one point during that arc to probably end up transforming into where into wear versions of themselves. Still, still have the personalities intact and everything, but become wear versions of themselves if for an issue or so. I also indicated of something else, and this is something I do expect we're going to see. Uh, hold on for a second. Okay, I'm back. I had to get me a cup of coffee and check on my dog outside to make sure she's all right. She likes to, my dog likes to sun, likes to lay out in the sun, so I'm sure that's what, <laughs> I'm sure that's the same, same thing goes for all dogs. But anyway, getting back to what I, I was saying, um, uh, wh what I was saying is that I do expect one thing to happen, and I, I can really see this happening because this is something that I think, really, you know, depending on if you're a fan or not of, of the characters, this is something that you would hope or were hoping was going to happen for quite some time. Mm -hmm. And we've seen a lot of fan art. We've seen a lot of fan art uh, throughout the years, some done by Jay Foxfire and others, some done by, I think, uh, kiss the thunder or bring on the thunder kiss the thunder if you will and several others out there I think even I think even armpit warrior uh, I, I did did a version as well but th th this is what I see and, and this is what I expect to see in this new and new Again, not to be confused with DC's new 52, but this new 52 Sonic universe or Sonic continuity uh, in the comics. I hold on for a second. Sorry about that interruption again, but um, as I was trying to say, this is something that a lot of fans, whether they like the characters or not, have been hoping for for a while. And the closest we ever got to something like this was, you know, back in the final episode of Sonic Sat AM, the Doomsday Project. It was towards the end, and we got something similar to this. And, again, fans have drawn pictures of this with one character, sometimes with two characters, if not all the characters. And this is something, again, like I said, fans had been, with, you know, depending on you, if you like the characters or not, this is something you've been wanting to see. And what I'm saying is I would expect to see in this new NU52, not to be confused with DC's new 52, but this new 52 uh, continuity or universe, I expect to see some somewhere down the line, somewhere down the line, probably at the end of this new arc that I do expect is going to run to at least maybe two two seventy five at the le at the least, maybe three hundred at the most, and that's issue wise up to issue two seventy five or three at the at, at average two seventy five at the average three hundred at the most. Um, 
And that's issue-wise, issue 275 or issue 300. But like I say, I do expect this to occur. And again, with all due respect, whether you like Ian Flynn or not, and I've had my problems with Ian, there's, there's no doubt about it. That's, you know, people pretty much know that. They've <laughs> chronicled that, if you will. But if Ian does have any respect whatsoever, has any respect whatsoever for the fans, and I'm sure he does, this is something that even he as a fan has been wanting to see. Because like I said, you know, despite the fan art and the fan stories and all that, the last time we physically, visually saw it, or saw something similar to this, saw something similar to this, um, was Sonic Sat AM, and that was the end of Doomsday Project with Sonic and Sally, thanks to the Power Stones. The Power Stones were basically acting like the seven Chaos Emeralds. So, there you go. And I do expect something like that to happen here with all the characters. Because it would be something unique. It would be something relatable to the games. Kind of indicating that this is a y universe, a continuity now that's based in a world that's based more on the games, on the, on the game world, on the world in the I that you find in the Sonic games than in the comics. And again, like I said, this would be more in line, this would be more in tune if you had all the Freedom Fighters, Sonic, Tails, Bunny, Sally, Rotor, Antoine, and even Amy, if you had them all go super I I in some ways. That, that's what I, that's one thing I think we should expect to probably see down the line. Just my opinion, but that's what I would expect, seeing as though they want to try to make this more in tune with uh, the the uh, the gaming universe, the u the world and the universe from the games, they want to make this more in tune and more in continuity with that. This would be a proper way of doing it. Now, what else do I expect to see out of this? Well, I do expect one scene. I do expect to see one little scene or that one little scene that might go for maybe two or three panels. And I do expect maybe Sally to, uh, egg I, I do expect uh, Ian Flynn or to write in and maybe Tracy Yarlin or Lamar Wells to draw in and color in a scene where Sally basically, you know, comes face to face with Eggman and as we have seen before, and this is when Ken Penders uh, was doing the writing and Spaz, if you will, or Stephen Butler or whoever was, I think Stephen Butler or Spaz was doing the drawing and the coloring. I expect maybe to see a panel, a few panels of a scene where Sally, you know, she's confronting Eggman face to face. And with no words, I expect to probably see her end up kicking him right in the you-know-wheres. And then maybe saying something like, that's what you get for turning me into a mindless robot. You know, or turning me into a mindless weapon of destruction or something. I expect to see something like that very soon. And I know that will make everybody's day. Some people might say, well, now I know some of you might ask, well, why would you want to see that? Okay. Why would I want to see it? Because it would visually, without saying anything, it kind of gets a point across that, hey, you know, you don't mess to Eggman from a story standpoint that, hey, you don't mess with me. He says, if you, basically it's like, if you don't mess with me, even when I'm roboticized, you don't turn me into something that I'm not. I would expect that. I would expect to po hopefully see something like that similar down the line. Not saying when or where, but I do expect to see that. Now, and again, and, and again, like I said, I know, you know, honestly, I think that would make a lot of people's day because it might make up for a certain gut shot, if you know what I mean, by the princess. It might make up for a certain gut shot, if you know what I mean. But getting back on um, point here, another thing I expect 
us to see coming out is this new 52, this new NU uh, 52 continuity or universe of Sonic comics. What I do expect to see, and I do apologize if this audio video goes a little long, I do apologize for that. Um, but this is what I do expect. I expect Sonic Universe, the tie-in comic, the spin-off comic, to start doing some new stories featuring the Freedom Fighter characters um, in their own little four-part arcs, if you will. Yeah, we'll get some stories, we'll get some backstories and all that that are going to tie in to the main story arc, to the main um, story in itself, in general, the long sto the story arc, depending on how long it's going to be. Yeah, we're going to get some backstories, but I do expect we're going to get some universe tie-ins. Now, we are going to currently get a tie-in um, after the Shadow arc with Knuckles and the Chaotix. We're going to get a tie-in somewhat with that. But I'm talking the fact that we're going to hopefully get some universe arcs uh, based around and featuring characters like Sally, like Bunny, like Antoine, maybe Rotor, Nicole, you know. You know, these are arcs I do expect Sonic, uh, I do expect Ian Flynn to m hopefully do for Sonic Universe that's going to help tie into this new continuity into this new arc into this new world and they would be interesting to say the least because we do know we do know that Tails somewhat got his own universe arc and it was kind of co-starring Bunny and Antoine and some might say well it seemed Bunny and Antoine were more focused than Tails I don't really think so I think it was more even and I think Tails appeared a lot more it was more of a focal point at times than just Bunny and Antoine. Yeah, Bunny and Antoine had the moments in, in that one, but it was more along the lines of, uh, it was more along the lines, it was more of a, you could definitely see, a lot, it was more along the lines of a Tails arc than anything else. Um, but getting to what I'm saying, I do expect to see something similar to that uh, down the road with, a universe arc, folk, you know, having Sally, let's say, as the main star for four issues. Yeah, she'll have like some associates, like maybe Big the Cat. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me again. <laughs> like maybe Big the Cat, maybe Blaze, perhaps. You know, maybe Amy as sort of like background characters or co-starring characters, but mainly you have Sally like as the focal point. And I expect the same thing with Antoine, you know, him being like a focal point, of both him and Bunny being focal points, and other characters like maybe Sally and Rhoda being background characters. Same with Nicole, you know, I expect her to get a universe arc. I, I mean, I expect a lot of this. I expect a lot of these characters um, to have some arcs, four-part arcs presented in universe uh, before this uh, continue, before the story arc is out. Now, again, like I said. Now, again, I would like again, like I said, I would like to see this because not only would it tie in to hopefully what this continuity is all about, but it would, it would. Um, again, like I said, not only would it tie into what this continuity, this new continuity, if you will, this new world is about but also it would tie in to the uh it would tie in to the uh into the story arc as a whole and there's many ways you could do it there are many ways you can do it so i expect hopefully we'll get some sonic universe adaption uh, sonic universe stories starring and featuring characters you know basically focusing on characters like sally like bunny like antoine and all of them you know, with a few of the Freedom Fighters and other characters as co-stars. I, I do expect that. I, I really do. I really do expect that. Um, as, as far as the characters, 
As far as any characters returning, I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning or not, but like I said at the beginning, if I didn't say this, I'm going to say it for the first time. And I apologize for probably forgetting whether or not I said it at the beginning because I had the phone, I had to check on my dog, and the dog had to go get a cup of coffee. And also, my family member called up checking in on things. So, anyway, as far as the return of the characters, I probably expect maybe the debut or rebirth of certain characters, but with a different look and maybe a different name. In other words, you'll know, hopefully like I mentioned earlier, you'll know it's the same character, but with different, but with a different look and maybe a different name, but with the same personality and mannerisms. That's right. So for any of, uh, any of us that are wondering will we ever see Julie Sue again, I expect maybe we're going to, I expect hopefully we will see her, but in a sense that it's not entirely, vis that visually and name-wise it's not her, but personality and mannerism-wise, it is her. You kind of get what I'm saying? Personality-wise, mannerism-wise, it is her. Name-wise, design-wise, it's not her. Th that, that's what I'm getting at. That's what I'm getting at. I expect personality-wise, in a sense, in a sense, because I know some people might say, well, that might still border, you know, copyright infringement. Maybe, maybe not. But in a sense, I do expect a similar, similar personality to what Julie Sue had and similar mannerisms to what she had um, with her reintroduction and rebirth under a new name and new design. I, I do expect that. I do expect to see something or some characters being reintroduced just like that. I do. I really do. Because there's all because let's not forget one thing, folks. There's always a way around something. There's always some kind of loophole that you can work around so that you so that you can get what you want or give the people what they want and there would be no consequences whatsoever. There would be no consequences whatsoever. You could get what you want still when you want. And again, there would be no consequences whatsoever. And I expect that for other characters, like maybe Jeffrey St. John. We might see him reintroduced with a new look, a new design, and a and a new name with similar personality and mannerisms. Same with Hershey, you know. And a lot of these characters that are off limits, I expect the same thing, I do. Because like I said, there's always a way around it. You gotta remember that, there's always a loophole, there's always a way around it. Now, With that said, with that said, what else do I expect out of this new 52, this NU 52 uh, ret soft, soft retcon and soft reboot of the Sonic comics? What, what do else do I expect? Well, again, if I hadn't mentioned it before, I'll mention it again. And I do apologize for that. I expect sequels, if not similar. Some, well, I do expect mainly, mainly because it seems like they're doing this. Seems like this is becoming a trend. But I do expect similar. I do expect not similar, but I do expect sequels, if not full-on adaptions, in some way of other Sonic games. Like I mentioned earlier, if I talked about this, I do expect we're gonna get maybe something relatable to Sonic Unleashed, maybe a full-on adaption, maybe, like I said, you know, you know, maybe with the characters for one issue each going where in their own way. 
But I do expect these other games to hopefully get a sequel of s sequel if s uh, you know of some kind, if not some kind of adaption. I do expect we might get a sequel to Sonic Colors in a sense. We might get a sequel to that. We may may get a sequel uh, to some sense of Sonic Generations, if not get a full-on adaption of Sonic Generations. And can you imagine how they would work that out? Can you imagine how they would work that out? If they did a full-on adaption of Sonic Generations, can you imagine that? Or at least we'd get a sequel to that in some ways in the comics. I would expect maybe, maybe we might get a sequel to Sonic Adventure 2. Maybe. I would expect that. <sighs> what else? Heck, we might even, and you, know, you know what? We might even get a full-on adaption, if not a sequel, somewhat, to Sonic Riders. Yeah, to the Sonic Riders uh, franchise, uh, Sonic Riders portion of the Sonic franchise, we might get a Sonic Riders adaption, if not a sequel to Sonic Riders. And imagine having the Freedom Fighters writing the writing a lot of the boards. I mean, we've seen references to that in the old, and obviously the now old continuity. We've seen references that they do have the boards. So imagine doing a Sonic Riders sequel or adaption to that. That would be pretty awesome. You know, I, I mean, it would be. You know, we could also get maybe a s adaption or a sequel, probably ad an adaption of somewhat, to Sonic Battle. We we may get that. You know, it's all it's all depending on what uh, the writers want to see. You know. Again, like I said, you know. We could get a lot of this. We could. You know, we could get a lot of this. We we could get end up getting a full on. How do I put this? Heck, we might even. I'm trying to think, we might even get a sequel somewhat to some of the Nintendo exclusive titles, like say Sonic and the Black Knight or Sonic and the Secret Rings. We might get some adaptions of those, or at least sequels. I expect we're going to get one. I would expect us to see somewhat sequels or adaptions of those in the universe. I would. I really would, fo folks. I mean, I'm not kidding here. I would expect that. I mean, these are just, you know, I, you know, just be, I mean, these are just sequels or adaptions I feel they're going to end up doing off the top of my head that I feel they're going to end up doing because of the fact that they're trying to establish that this world is now in continuity with the games with us, whether or not some of the games uh, took place before or after or have taken place before or are going to be taking place after. So to me to me, I would expect to see these kind of adaptions occur. Like I said, I would expect to see a sequel or maybe even an adaption of Sonic Generations. I would expect expect to see some kind of sequel to Sonic Rush Adventure. Heck, you know what would be even bordering borderline crazy, if you will? I would expect a damn adaption or sequel to Sonic Chronicles. How about that? I would expect that to happen. As far as crossovers go, I don't know if we'll get any kind of crossover this year because of what they're focused on, and there hasn't been no indication. But if there's going to be a crossover that ties in with this new in-continuity in-game continuity universe, I would expect po possibly 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 a crossover with the Sonic X universe I would I would ex 
expect a crossover with the Sonic X universe in some way. In some way. Not a full-on crossover, but a crossover some way. I do expect that. I do expect maybe, maybe we might see, maybe we might see Cosmo. That's what I'm thinking. If this is going to be, if this new world is in any stretch going to be, if this new continuity or in in new world is in any stretch connected more closely to the games than they've ever been or just straight out of the games or straight out of the Sonic game universe, which Sonic X, believe it or not, is attached to in some ways, I would expect possibly to see an appearance by Cosmo. I really, really do. I would expect to see that in this new continuity. Now, last but not least, last but not least, and oh, I would expect also to see Emerald, or Emerald, or Emerald, or whatever, E-M-R-L, Emerald, the, the robot that can copy people's attacks. I do expect to maybe see him if they do a s adaption or a sequel to Sonic Battle. I, I do expect to see that. Now, last but not least, let's talk about the possible romances. Because, yes, you cannot have a comic. Hold on. Let me get a drink of coffee here for a second. Okay, getting back to what I was saying here. As far as romances go, because again, like I said, you cannot have a comic book, even if it's adapted, even if it's a comic book adaption of, of a video game franchise like Sonic the Hedgehog, you cannot have a comic book without some kind of romance in there. Now, we've pretty much already established that Bunny and Antoine are still married. Because of their memories being restored and everything, they are still, they are once again married. We pretty much established that. That's one romance out of the way. But now what about Sonic and Sally? You see, that's going to be the question a lot of people want to know. Are we going to get Sonic and Sally in this new continuity? Well, with her remembering the old world, I think there's a chance we will. It may not be right off the bat. You know, like a lot of people like Jay Foxfire and a lot of Sonic Sally fans like myself would hope for. But we are going to get it somewhere down the lines. Ian Flynn cannot avoid that. He knows it. And pretty much, we know what the relationship is going to be like. It's like, it'll be there. Th this is what I think is going to happen. We are going to, this is what I see happening. We are going to establish that Sonic and Sally are going to be in a relationship. There's going to be no doubt about it. But, but I would expect, with all due respect, I would expect Ian Flynn to probably try to subdue it. You know, in other words, make it subtle. So kind of put some kind of stability on it. In other words, you know it's there. You might see it here and there every now and then in the comics, but it's going to be so but it'll be put into a stability to the point that it won't be the main focal point. And again, it'll be it'll be kind of like It'd be kind of like it'd be off to the side. In other words, you know it's there. And again, like I said, with certain panels and stuff, you, you'll you know that they're a couple. Like maybe you'll see them holding hands. Maybe they'll share a kiss or two or something like that. You know, maybe you'll see a silhouette of them sitting down on the deck of the Sky Patrol looking at the sunset. And, you know, Sally's, arm, Sally's head is leaned down on Sonic's arm or something like that. You know, so you'll get the, to me, you'll get all these subtle hints that the relationship is still on, that they're still boyfriend, girlfriend, if you will, but it won't be as strongly hinted, if you will, or strongly seen as it used to be. It'll basically be, in my opinion, in the parameters of what Sega would want to see. It's like, okay, yeah, we know he's got a girlfriend, but she's not the focal point of, of Sonic's world, right? But she's not really the focal point. Her relationship with Sonic's not really the focal point. His world ad worldwide adventures are. Stopping Eggman is the focal point. Saving the world is the focal point. 
So I do expect we will get Sonic and Sally, but again, like I said, it'll be a more subtle, um, subtle indication, a uh, subtle uh, relationship, subtle, 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 more of a relationship that'll be on a more su subtle, subtle, will be more on a more stability level. That's what I'm trying to, that's the word I'm trying to get, on a more stability level. Now, what about other romances? Will we get any new ones? Who knows? Who knows if we'll get, who knows? We might get some new ones. We might get some new ones. You know, there's actually two relationships that are possible now in this new continuity. There's two relationships. One, Ian Flynn has always been a fan of, and I guess would hope to find the right opportunity to make it happen. And another, fans feel, is the best shot, is the best pairing that you could get. Now, you might say, well, who are these couples, these two possible couples? Well, from Ian's standpoint, from Ian's standpoint, you're looking at, because, again, this is the best opportunity he has to do it. You'd be looking at a Tails-Amy relationship. I'm not joking. You'd be looking at a Tails-Amy relationship. And again, this is something that Ian Flynn, on record, I think even before he joined the comic, and even when he was sort of like a ghost writer for the comic, he has hinted that he would love to see happen. He would love to see paired together. Because they're practically both the same age. And it leaves the door, in his mind, wide open for Sonic and Sally to be together again. But like I mentioned, just mentioned, more on a stability level. But to me, this is the opportunity he'd be looking for to put Tails and Amy together. This would be the best opportunity he would have. Now, on the flip side, though, there's one pairing that a lot of fans would love to see happen in the comic because they feel it's on par to what Sonic and Sally would be like. And of course, we're talking about Tails and Nicole. Now, I know, I know a lot of you might be saying, well, Nicole's an AI, no way. Well, yeah, she's an AI, but she has a physical form. She has a physical form. And again, in the eyes of some fans, it would be perfect for Tails because they're both intelligent, they're both scientific, they're both computer geniuses, Nicole more so than Tails at times. And you know, from from what you from what fans have displayed in artwork as well as in stories, you can almost kind of see that it would work in this new in this now in game universe continuity of the comics it could it, it it could actually work and the pos the the positives about that is it would leave the door open for Amy to still be Amy Ro Am for Amy Rose to still be herself and still try to pursue Sonic even though on a stability level he would be in a relationship with Sally it would leave the door open for her to still pursue him or maybe, maybe introduce a new character into the comics to be a love interest. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, you know. But this is a pairing fans would love to see. And if, if Ian Flynn and Archie Comics want to give the fans what they want, this is something they sh that, you, that they should go out and give them. They should give them this pairing. They should give them uh, Tails and Nicole together. Now, and I'm, not, and I'm not talking about rushing it and making it happen right away. I mean, slowly take your time. Slowly take your time. Kind of take a page out of old comic book lore. You know, take your time with the relationship between the two that are inevitably, inevitab inevitably going to get together. 
inevitably going to get together. Take your time with it. You know, build it up, build it up, build it up until you get there. And when you get there, you know, the payoff is more is more great. The payoff is more satisfying, not just for the writer and the creative staff, but it's also more enjoyable for the readers. So to me, if Ian Flynn and Archie Comics want to give the fans what they want, give them this. Give them this pairing right here. Again, nothing against maybe a Tails and Amy relationship happening in this new in-game universe, but this, if you were to do a, here's the honest answer. Here's an honest answer right here. If you were to do a poll, if you were to do a poll, on what girl fans would want tails with right now in this would, would right now in this new in game universe, if you were to do a poll of what girl they would want tails to be with in this new game universe continuity, they would say a majority of them would say Nicole. I'm not lying, a majority of them would probably say Nicole. You might have Cosmo right behind her. You might have Fiona right behind Cosmo. And you might have Amy dead last, for all you know. Or maybe you'll have Amy, like, in second place, along with Co Tide in second place, and he's with, along with Cosmo or Fiona. Or maybe Tide in third place, along with Fiona. But my honest opinion, you do a poll, you do a poll on, you do a poll on what girl they would like to see him with in this in-game universe, Nicole would probably be on the top of the list. She would be. And that would be something that I think we could possibly see in this new in-game universe continuity, this new and new 52 universe of the Sonic comics. That I expect we could probably see that, especially if they want to give the fans what they want. You know, especially if they want to give the fans what they want, they this would be something that, to me, would be worthwhile. I mean, fans would definitely flock to it. Fans would enjoy it. Fans would get get a kick out of it. And again, what you could do with these relationships, like Sonic and Sally, like Tails and Amy, or Tails and Nicole. And heck, even do with the married couple of Bunny and Antoine, is you can put it in a stability level. In other words, you know it's there, you know these relationships, these romances are there, but they're at such a subtle, at, at such a subtle, subtly, at such a stability level, at such a settled, subtle level, if you will, easy for me to say. But they're at such a stability level that you, n again, like I said, I know I sound like a broken record here, and I apologize for that. But you know it's at, you know, such a, you know, th you know that it, even though it's at, at such a stability level to where it's not as forced down your throat, it's not as focused on as it used to be, but you know it's there, it could work. It could work. Even if you know it's, even if it's just at a stability level, you would know it's there. Even though it's not, like I say, jammed down your throat, forced down your throat, like some people say romances used to be. If it's more at that subtle level, I think it could work, especially for all the relationships, even Bunny and Antron's married relationship. So, but th th these, these are just things that I expect to probably see happen in this new, would expect to see, would expect and hope to see happen in this new Sonic universe, in this new Sonic soft retcon reboot universe. This is what I would expect, to s expect and hope to see. So that's all I'm going to say. I'm sorry this video ran so long, this audio video ran so long. I do apologize. And take your time. I'll put it in the description box to and in, in, in tell you right there and there. Take your time with this. And that's all I'm going to say. 
And until then, guys, God bless. Take care. And I'm out. Comments are welcome.